Next, we move to the last part, which is improper fraction. If given that Px over Qx, where the degree of Px is more than the degree of Qx, then we need to divide the denominator into the numerator to obtain the sum of polynomial and a proper fraction. Okay, remember, if we are given improper fraction, all we, we need to do is we need to divide the denominator into the new, into the numerator means we need to do a long division okay to obtain the sum of a polynomial and a proper fraction for example here let's say we are given the expression of x power 3 plus 1 over x times x minus 1 okay if we check here okay the degree of numerator is 3 okay and the degree of the denominator is x is 2. Okay, means the degree of numerator is more than the degree of denominator. So, this is improper fraction. Okay, remember, if we are given improper fraction, okay, all we need to do is, we need to do the operation of long division to obtain a proper fraction. Okay, okay this one we call it sum of polynomial after we do it a uh, long division. And this part is called as proper fraction. Okay, this part, okay, we will continue with partial fraction. Because this is already proper fraction. Okay. Okay, let's look at the first example. Okay, express this expression as a partial fraction. Okay, firstly, we need to check, okay, whether this is proper or improper fraction. Okay, so if we check, okay, um, the degree of numerator is 2. The degree of denominator also 2. Okay, if the degree of numerator is more than or equal to the degree of denominator, so it is improper fraction. Then, okay, this is improper fraction. Okay, then all we need to do, the first step, is long division okay to obtain a proper fraction okay so let's proceed with long division okay we will do a long division which is 3x square plus 5x minus 2 divided by the divisor x square plus 3x okay this is our long division okay okay remember after doing a long division all we need to do is we write it into a general form okay okay we know that this is px this is qx okay remainder and we can find the x here so, what is our general uh, equation? Okay, the general equation should be in terms of Px over dx is equal to Qx plus Rx over dx. So, just substitute. So, we will have this expression. Okay, after we substitute uh, into the, the general equation. Okay, from here, we should know that now, after we do a long division, this part is proper fraction. Okay, if you check here, the degree of numerator is 1 and the degree of denominator is 2. Okay, means the degree of numerator less than the degree of denominator. So, it is, in, it is proper fraction. So, from here, then we can proceed to do a partial fraction. Okay, we will do a partial fraction in uh, uh, for proper fraction. So let's proceed with pa uh, partial fraction. Okay, our next step. Okay, we want to express the proper the proper fraction into um, partial fraction. Okay, so the denominator here is x times x plus three. Actually, I already factorized from here x square plus three x. Okay, so after we factorize here, this is exactly as uh, given in um, 
original question. So the first factor here is linear. The second factor also linear. So both are linear factor. So remember, if we are if we have a linear factor, so numerator should be constant. So it will be a over x plus b over x plus three. Okay, after that, as usual, okay, uh, we need to equating denominator. Okay, to, equate, to equating denominator, we will use uh, the same method as we learned before. Okay, so A, we already have X here. Still do not have X plus 3 means A must multiply with X plus 3. B must multiply with X because we still do not have X here. We only have X plus, uh, X plus 3 here. Okay, sorry, here should be x plus 3, okay, my mistake. Okay, next, after equating the numerator, what should we do? The next step, okay, we need to equating numerator. Okay, equating numerator. Okay, after equating numerator, we need to find the value of a and b, okay. This is uh, the simplest um, one, so we can, we just use substitution method. Okay, so we can, if we substitute x equal to negative 3, we can find b, right? And if we substitute x with 0, okay, we can find a. So, let's do it. So, substitute, okay, let x equal to negative 3 into the equation. So, we will have here b is negative 10. And when x equal to 0, we will have here a equal to negative 2 over 3. Then, we need to substitute the value of A and B into the equation of the partial fraction here. Okay, in step 2. Remember, this equation actually is from here. Okay, from here. Means, our final answer, we need to substitute back. What is the, okay, A over x plus b over x plus 3, okay, into this equation, okay. Our final answer must be in terms of this equation. Okay, firstly, we substitute into a proper fraction. Okay, negative 4x minus 2 over x square plus 3x is equal to, okay, a over x. Okay, so we substitute first into a proper fraction. So, negative 4x minus 2 over x times x plus 3 is equal to a over x. Okay, what is a? a is negative 2 over 3x and plus with b over x plus 3. So, b is negative 10. Okay, negative 10 over 3 times x plus 3. Okay, this is not our final answer. Okay, our final answer we will have after we substitute into the expression of improper fraction. Okay, which is 3x square. Okay, the original question is 3x square plus 5x minus 2 over x square plus 3x. Okay, is equal to Okay, remember after we do a long division, we have number 3, right? And then plus our proper fraction here. Okay, so our proper fraction here uh, is negative 4x minus 2 over x times x plus 3. Okay, so substitute back. This one actually is equal to the right hand side here. So our final answer will be 3 plus, okay, okay, 3 minus 2 over 3x, okay, negative 10, here we have negative, so negative positive is negative 10 over 3 times x plus 3, okay, this is equal to 3x square plus 5x minus 2, over x square plus 3x. Okay, this is our final answer.
And the last example. Okay. So, we want to express this expression as partial fraction. Okay. As usual, we need to determine. Okay. Whether this is proper or improper fraction. Okay. Numerator, we have the highest degree is 3. Denominator, if we expand, the highest degree is 3 also. Means, uh, the degree of denominator numerator is equal with the degree of denominator. Okay. So, if the degree are equal or the degree of numerator is more than the degree of denominator, so this is, we call it as improper fraction. Okay, so this is, we call it as improper fraction. All we need to do is, first step, we need to do a long division. So, uh, firstly, let's find the x. The x is x plus 2 times x square plus 1. Okay, so we need to expand. Here we have x power 3 plus x, plus 2x square, plus 2. Simplify, our, our device will be x power 3, plus 2x square, plus x, plus 2. Okay, next, okay, do a long division and we will have, okay, the... Quotient here is 1. Okay. Just, do, just use the procedure as we learned before. After do a long division. Okay. Do remember to write it in general form. So, here is Px over dx is equal to Qx plus Rx over dx. Okay. Now, this part is proper fraction. So, let's proceed with partial, to find partial fraction for this part. Okay, uh, let's say, okay, this equation, I give uh, the number of equation number 1. Okay, the entire equation here is equation number 1. General form here, we call it as uh, equation number one. Okay, next, let's uh, proceed with partial fraction for parts proper fraction. Okay, to express as partial fraction, okay, this proper fraction. So, as usual, we need to check the denominator. Okay, first factor is linear. So, here, numerator will be constant, which is A over X plus 2. Okay, second factor here, quadratic. Okay, quadratic and we need to check whether we can factorize or not. Okay, in this case, x square plus 1, we cannot factorize. So, numerator here will be linear, which is bx plus c over x square plus 1. Okay, before we equate uh, denominator, let's make this equation be equation number 1. Sorry, equation number 2. Equation number two. Okay, so uh, it will be easier for us when I mention which equation do we need to substitute back the value after we have uh, the value of a, b, and c. Okay, okay, next we move to equating the denominator as usual as we uh, learned before. Okay, the procedure to equating denominator. Okay, make sure you remember after equating denominator, we need to equate numerator. Okay, equating numerator, part numerator only. Okay, after this, okay, we will proceed with uh, the procedure to find the value of A, B, and C. Okay, here I am using uh, the method of substitution, substituting method. 
okay, which is I substitute when x equal to negative 2, then we can find the value of a. Okay, when substitute x equal to 0, we can find the value of c. And okay, when s is equal to 1, we can find the value of b, which is equal to 1 over 5. Okay, please check. Okay, am I, am I getting the right value of a, b and c? Okay, and then after that, okay, we need to substitute back into the equation of partial fraction. Okay, firstly, let's substitute into equation number 2. Okay, so this is improper fraction from equation number 2. So this is equal to a over x plus 2. So what is a? a is negative 11. Okay, a is negative 11 over 5 times x plus 2. Okay, plus with b. Plus with, uh, this is quadratic, remember, b x plus c. So b is 1, 1 times x is, okay, I rewrite first, 1 times x over 5 plus c. C, c is negative 12. Negative 12 over 5. Okay, this is 5. Negative 12 over 5. So, multiply with x square plus 1. Okay, this is from equation number 2, right? Okay, next, to find the final answer, we need to rewrite. Okay, substitute back the pro the partial fra uh, the proper fraction here into the equation of number 1. Okay, the original question given which is um, imp improper fraction. Okay. Okay, substitute into the equation number 1, okay, which is you will have the final answer here is x power 3 minus x minus 5 over x plus 2 times x square plus 1 okay is equal to okay 1 um okay i will write first plus okay i put in a bracket so negative 11 over 5 times x plus 2 and then plus with x minus 12 over 5 times x square plus 1. Okay, and then if you open the bracket, it will be 1 minus 11 over 5 times x plus 2. Okay, and then plus x minus 12 over 5 times x square plus 1. Okay, this is our final answer.